Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Iron Man 3406 here. If this is your first time tuning in the channel, my name is Nathan. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, you will remember in the last few videos that we've been working on our Caterpillar 60 here. Um, we got the heads off at the end of the last video. So we are going to continue on with this project here. And uh, I want to get these side plates off. Have a look at the bottom end before I start uh, trying to beat on the pistons too hard. Just to, you know, see if I can get some movement out of them. Um, but I did get some uh, of this KB88 Ultimate Penetrant um, soaking in the tops of these cylinders before I left last time. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully a little bit of it got in and around the rings and uh, broke up some of that rust so that we can uh, get the pistons knocked out of this thing and have a look at the, the bottom end. So I'm gonna grab some tools, get some camera mount stuff set up for you guys and we'll get into seeing what the bottom end looks like on this thing. So hang tight. Thanks for taking the journey here with me on this uh, project. Well, it's not really what I was hoping to see in here. We got lots of rust. That's number one. Number two. Number three is about the best one of the bunch. And then number four. And then if you look really far back there, you can see the camshaft. It's all rusty. The lobes are all rusty. So, I think what I'll do is spray some penetrating oil in there and let things soak for a little while. And then I'll see if I can start breaking some of this thing loose, but it might be a battle. Here's a look from the other side. So I got the cotter key off of the nut on the far side. I gotta get this one, try and get this one <laughs> out of here. And I'll try and get one of these caps off, see what we're dealing with on the crankshaft. So uh, I'll try and get the camera in there, but it's just pretty tight working quarters. And here's a better look at the camshaft too. Get my lights through here. I mean, most of it just looks like surface rust, but 
it's hard to tell until you clean it off and see how much pitting there is but we'll uh, work at getting this cotter key off of here We fought and we fought and we screamed and yelled and we did get the rod caps off of number one and number two and to be honest the crank doesn't look too terribly bad. Um, we did have to torch off one of the connecting rod bolts. It was just too far, too far gone. Uh, but now we're going to get the cam lifters out of the way so that we can take the jugs off and hopefully take the piston with the jug. Here's the caps from number one and number two. All the shims and everything for getting everything spaced out. Um, yeah, here's that one bolt we had to torch off. But um, like I say, there's not much rust in these like I thought there'd be, so should be all right. The Babbitt looks good for the most part.
that's number eight. All right, so I got the number two jug moving. Um, it looks like the whole piston's gonna come with it, which is all right, but it's way too heavy to lift, so we're gonna get rigged up and use the skid steer to pick the assembly right out of the tractor. Well, there's two jugs out, number one and two. We uh, had to fight to get them out of there, but uh, they came out with the pistons inside the jugs, or inside the cylinders. But, you know, all things considered, not too disappointed with how the crank looks. It's not crazy rusty. You know, for as much rust as was in this crankcase, I expected the the uh, journals on the crank to look a lot worse than they do, but I think if a guy had to polish these up, it wouldn't be too big of a deal, so. Um, we got two more yet to get out. Oops. Um, I got the pistons and cylinders just sitting up right here, standing on the studs, so that I could get a little bit of oil and stuff around the bottom of the piston hopefully uh, let some of that stuff soak for a little while and you know start being able to move the pistons um, I did measure these this is a six and a half inch bore and our other one is a six and three quarter so if we really had to um, if we wanted to stay with the pistons that we've got in our other 60 because they're in good shape, they weren't seized in or nothing. We could bore these jugs out to six and three quarter and use the pistons out of our, out of our other one. And uh, it's got a nicer crank and stuff too. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a Frankenstein situation here. And I know there's a few guys that follow me who are like numbers matching, you know, diehards, but uh, sometimes that just isn't in the cards with this old stuff. You, uh, you're kind of limited with the cards you're dealt, and if the if the if the end game is to get a running 60, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to make one run. So that's really our goal is to have a running 60. So it might not be a true numbers matching at the end of it all, but uh, we'll do our best to keep as much of it as close to original as possible. But I do think that I am gonna wrap this video up here. This has been a pretty long process here to get those two jugs out. Uh, next time we'll get the other two out, hopefully, or get them off the tractor. Um, this is a lot of heavy grunt work, so it takes a lot of time. Um, but yeah, we'll get those other two off. I don't know how far we'll take the engine apart. I mean, the camshaft is pretty buggered in this one. The camshaft was good in the other blocks, so it might be a matter of swapping blocks with the crank and everything already intact and then just figuring out what we're doing for pistons, jugs, heads, all that kind of stuff. So um, I appreciate you guys all tagging along for this journey. Um, this is, I guess, the end of part four of the teardown. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys like this kind of stuff, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notifications so that you know when we get working on this project again. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget, I am Iron Man. We'll see you later.